Hello friends, welcome to Being Civil. In the previous two videos, we have completed the tension member design and done an example. In this video, we are not going to the compression member design because before that, the section classification is very much important. So in this video, we are discussing section classification as per IS 800-2007. So you see, this is a built up sections consisting of three plates. These two are flange plates and this is wave plate. So this plate can locally buckle due to loads. Whether it will buckle or not, it very much dependent on its width to thickness ratio. Suppose this width is B and this is TF and in this case this is same B but this TF dash is less. We can easily understand as this thickness is very small, there is more chance of buckling. So this B by TF ratio this is called width by thickness ratio if increases the chances of buckling increases so on the basis of this width to thickness ratio the sections are classified into four classes number one it is called class one plastic number two compact number three semi-compact and class four is center plastic section can develop plastic hinge and have a rotation capacity required for the failure by the formation of plastic mechanism. You can easily understand by this graph. This is stress versus strain graph. This line is showing plastic moment and this is MOI at the yield point. So you see this green line, it goes above this plastic moment and there is adequate strain and before the failure. So plastic section can develop this plastic hinge and there is a rotation capacity. Compact section can develop plastic moment of resistance. So you see it goes above this MP, but inadequate plastic hinge rotation capacity. So after just reaching this MP, the compact section fails. Now comes semi-compact. The extreme fiber in compression can reach yield stress. You see this is the yield stress line. So it can reach yield stress, but cannot develop plastic moment of resistance. Just to chase the yield stress and then fails. And then comes slender. It buckles locally even before reaching the yield stress. See? It can, can't reach the yield stress. So this is so it is quite obvious that this plastic section is most preferable. Then comes compact, then semi-compact. And slender section is not used generally. All this section classification you can easily find in the IS 800-2007 in detail clause 3.7.2. So we'll do an example of classifying a section. This is the IS 800-2007 in clause 3.7.2. All the classification are given. In table 2 of IS 800-2007, this limiting width to thickness ratio are given and the BTF, DTW for different sections are given in the page 19. Now we'll do this for this section. We have to determine which uh, class is this. So this is a built up section. You see in the page 19 is a built up section. B is this TF, TW and D. So B in our case will be this length 75. TF is 10. D will be 300 minus 20, 10, 10. So 280 and TW is 8. Now go to table 2. You see for, for flange and welded section, this B by TF. So B by TF, 75 by 10, 7.5. In this table, you see if your this value less than this value, then it is plastic section. If lies in between this, then compact. If lies in between this, then semi-compact. And if it is above the value in this column, it will be slender. So, in our case, 7.5 less than 8.4 epsilon. The value of epsilon is 1 as this 250 by Fy root. For mild steel, Fy is 250, so epsilon is 1. So, we can write the flange is plastic. Now, for wave. In table 2 for wave, you see this wave. Neutral axis has mid depth D by Tw. See, this is less than 84 epsilon. This one. So the wave is plastic. If both the section is plastic, so the section will be plastic. If one flange is plastic and the uh, wave is compact, then the section will be compact. So the most critical class will govern the section classification. Now coming to this angle, uh, single angle B 
and this is T. And now for in table 2, angle compression due to bending. So B by T, in our case, B by T will be 90 by 8, 11.25. So you see, it is greater than 10.5 epsilon and less than 15.7 epsilon. So it lies between these two. So it will be semi-compact. Hope you understand this. And kindly note that in table 2, there are some erroneous data. Kindly rectify this uh, in your code. It will, it this all three will be greater than or equal to 42 epsilon. And here in the, uh, it will be D by T and here it will be D. So hope you like this video, share with your friends, give the comment in the comment section below. See you in the next video.